Hello everybody, today I'm gonna demonstrate you some techniques involving a simple tool such as a screwdriver uh, that will allow you to um, center the reed in the slot. Centering is essential for any harmonica customization because uh, when you're filing the reeds they get off center or sometimes during transportation especially on lower keys on the chromatics the reeds may get off center and begin to buzz. Uh, I think I didn't have. I don't know if you can hear that buzzing. Usually, uh, customizers use uh, the reed centering tool. Uh, it's a small plank of uh, metal with a uh, whatever. But I will show you how to do it without it. Let's say if I'm uh, centering the the draw reed, uh, I usually have to take off the covers, for example, like that. The cover plates are taken off. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm trying to catch the reed with my nail like that on my finger and once I get a grip in it I'm gently pushing it to to the right direction like this there or, or like that what I also do sometimes that's good for lower reads but not not really working out for for the top reads so let's say I wanna work on that read I'm gonna use a filling gouge instead and I'll slide it beneath it then fix it with my finger then take a screwdriver and gently push the read applying pressure to the tip using a screwdriver this is quite a delicate operation and I, I, I do it uh, when the replay is lying flat on I've got a laptop I can show it like that so I do it like this and it usually works out but you gotta do, do it carefully you can do the same with a blow read but the problem is uh, when you assemble it all together uh, the screws that apply pressure to the reed plate make it change its curvature so let's say it's bent in either uh, direction and sometimes this forces some reeds to buzz anyway even though you have centered it without the screws on so what I'm doing is I'm putting in all the screws assembling the instrument and then centering the blow reeds right on the assembled instrument which is a useful technique because you don't have to disassemble it all the time so I even put the cover plates on and center them a completely assembled harmonica by the way I'm, I'm using the same flathead screwdriver for uh, screws that presume uh, a different type of it but it, it fits actually quite well so what I'm doing is uh, this one is, a, is the blow side and this one is the draw side so I'm putting in a small thin and long screwdriver inside uh, I'm actually aligning it uh, on either side of the comb chamber So I'm aiming at the corner and I'm positioning the screwdriver in such a way that I'm feeling the tip of the reed inside and once I feel it, yeah, there it is, I, I can feel that the pressure applied goes to the reed and I'm gently moving in this way. Once you get accustomed to it, 
you'll be able to do it quite quickly. It's very useful. Because you're dealing with the instrument in, in, in the state that, that is played in. One more uh, unusual technique with the screwdriver is the appliance for the chromatics. I'm using the same flathead screwdriver to fix uh, the bars on, on the chromatics. So you might want to use that technique uh, to avoid assembling and disassembling. And, uh, uh, basically, it works well both for half valved or fully valved chromatics. Uh, I take the valve, lift it gently, not too much, you don't want to bend it too much. And then uh, I, either, I actually use a feeling gouge for that more often because it's uh, much more flat. Then I... Uh, let me show it on, on an unvalved chromatic at first so you get the point. So, uh, here is a draw and a blow read of um, the shear one read plate. I'm putting the screwdriver diagonally into the slot so it's uh, right between the read and the, and the read slot. Or, I'm using the filling gouge. And I'm putting it right there, even easier. Then I'm applying very gentle pressure, very, very gentle for, for chromatics. That's more than enough. If you need more pressure, you can use a screwdriver because it's much more sturdy. And uh, I'm applying very gentle pressure, and off we go. And Check. Same goes with the, for the valve chromatics. Uh, you only need to lift uh, the valve with your finger. Oh, there is one. So you want to lift the valve with your finger without bending it, without squeezing it too much, like this. Then take a filling gouge, slide it in, right? Just just the same way, and do the same stuff. So it's a really useful time-saving tip for you. Oh yeah, I completely forgot to mention how do I uh, decide which way to center the read. Actually quite easy. I'm checking one direction. If things don't work out and begin to buzz even more, then I'm checking the other direction, which usually is the right one.